I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 76.1 Questioner, could you first please give me an indication of the condition of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument is in a state of physical complex bankruptcy which has existed for some of the measure you call time. The vital energies are normal with a strong spiritual complex counterpart and will lending substance to the mind, body, spirit complex energy levels. Question 76.2 Questioner, will our continued communication with Ra be deleterious to the physical energies of the instrument? Answer, I am Ra. We may answer in two modes. Firstly, if the instrument were thusly dedicated to this use with no transfer of energy of physical complex nature it would begin to call upon the vital energy itself and this, done in any substantive measure, is actively deleterious to a mind, body, spirit complex if that complex wishes further experience in the illusion which it now distorts. Secondly, if care is taken, firstly, to monitor the outer parameters of the instrument, then to transfer physical energy by sexual transfer, by magical protection, and, lastly, by the energetic displacements of thought forms energizing the instrument during contact there is no difficulty in that there is no worsening of the instrument's mind, body, spirit complex distortions of strength weakness. It is to be noted that the instrument, by dedicating itself to this service, attracts greetings of which you are aware. These are inconvenient but, with care taken, need not be lastingly deleterious either to the instrument or the contact. Question 76.3 Questioner, of the three things that you mentioned that we could do for the instrument's benefit, would you clarify the last one? I didn't quite understand what you meant. Answer, I am Ra. As the entity which you are allows its being to empathize with any other being, so then it may choose to share with the other self those energies which may be salubrious to the other self. The mechanism of these energy transfers is the thought or, more precisely, the thought form for any thought is a form or symbol or thing that is an object seen in time-space reference. Question 76.4 Questioner has our use of the banishing ritual of the lesser pentagram been of any value and what is its effect? Answer, I am Ra. This group's use of the banishing ritual of the lesser pentagram has been increasingly efficacious. Its effect is purification, cleansing, and protection of the place of working. The efficacy of this ritual is only beginning to be, shall we say, at the lower limits of the truly magical. In doing the working those aspiring to adepthood have done the equivalent of beginning the schoolwork, many grades ahead. For the intelligent student this is not to be discouraged, rather to be encouraged is the homework, the reading, the writing, the arithmetic, as you might metaphorically call the elementary steps towards the study of being. It is the being that informs the working, not the working that informs the being. Therefore, we may leave you to the work you have begun. Question 76.5. Questioner, would it be beneficial for us to perform the banishing ritual more in this room? Answer, I am Ra. It is beneficial to regularly work in this place. Question 76.6. Questioner, I am sorry that we have had such a long delay between the last session and this one. It couldn't be helped I guess. Could you please tell me the origin of the tarot? Answer, I am Ra. The origin of this system of study and divination is twofold, firstly, there is that influence which coming in a distorted fashion from those who were priests attempting to teach the law of one in Egypt, gave form to the understanding, if you will pardon the misnomer, which they had received. These forms were then made a regular portion of the learned teachings of an initiate. The second influence is that of those entities in the lands you call your, Chaldo, and Mesopotamia who, from old, had received the, shall we say, data for which they called having to do with the heavens. Thusly we find two methods of divination being molded into one with uneven results, the, as you call it, astrology and the form being combined to suggest what you might call the correspondences which are typical of the distortions you may see as attempts to view archetypes. Question 76.7 Questioner, then am I correct in assuming that the priests of Egypt, in attempting to convert knowledge that they had received initially from Ra into understandable symbology, constructed and initiated the concept of the Taro? Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. 
This is correct with the addition of the Sumerian influence. Question 76.8 Questioner who Ara's teachings focusing on the archetypes for this logos and the methods of achieving a very close approach to the archetypical configuration. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct without being true. We, of Ra, are humble messengers of the law of one. We seek to teach learn this single law. During the space-time of the Egyptian teach-learning we work to bring the mind complex, the body complex, and the spirit complex into an initiated state in which the entity could contact intelligent energy and so become teach-learner itself so that healing and the fruits of study could be offered to all. The study of the roots of mind is a portion of the vivification of the mind complex and, as we have noted, the thorough study of the portion of the roots of mind called archetypical is an interesting and necessary portion of the process as a whole. Question 76.9 Questioner, is there, in Ra's opinion, any presently value for the use of the Tarot as an aid in the evolutionary process? Answer, I am Ra. We shall repeat information. It is appropriate to study one form of constructed and organized distortion of the archetypical mind in depth in order to arrive at the position of being able to become and to experience archetypes at will. You have three basic choices. You may choose astrology, the twelve signs, as you call these portions of your planet's energy web, and what has been called the ten planets. You may choose the Tara with its twenty-two so-called major arcana. You may choose the study of the so-called Tree of Life with its ten sephiroth and the twenty-two relationships between the stations. It is well to investigate each discipline, not as a dilettante, but as one who seeks the touchstone, one who wishes to feel the pull of the magnet. One of these studies will be more attractive to the seeker. Let the seeker, then, investigate the archetypical mind using, basically, one of these three disciplines. After a period of study, the discipline mastered sufficiently, the seeker may then complete the more important step, that is, the moving beyond the written in order to express in a unique fashion its understanding, if you may again pardon the noun, of the archetypical mind.